when you say that you can't because there's further investigation to come tell us whether a case was opened and and a case number registered i'm struggling to understand why that detail should be one that given how straightforward the answer ought to be i'm trying to understand why you're hesitating to answer that question no i'm not hesitating john um you know the head of the presidential protection unit is a policeman senior yes. A uh, policeman, competent uh, uh, policeman. The president left the matter in his hands uh, uh, to deal with. Um, uh, he dealt with the matter, finalized the matter uh, in, in his um, competency, um, and and the matter was considered closed. So, so I I can tell you, yes, there was there was no um, formal case opened. Uh, because um, from the president's perspective, a, a, a very senior policeman was aware of the matter. He had looked into the matter and, and he considered um, the matter uh, closed because there was nothing further uh, to, to, to do based on his own investigation. So it's not, there's no hesitation in, in that regard, John. So, so you have a theft of a substantial amount of money in a particular part of the country that will never appear on the crime stats as, as a consequence of that. Let me put to you, Mr. Maguenya, what inference people might draw from this, that this was uh, a matter that the president preferred not to uh, have any kind of public scrutiny and therefore uh, a case number would leave potentially a paper trail and bring in, by the way, to the process, investigators who were not part of the president's team. That would suggest a desire to do this in the shadows, rather in the full glare of light, which is where crimes are best solved. No, John, I will respectfully push back against that. Number one, the president stands ready to cooperate with any law enforcement investigation of, of these matters. Number two, um, you know, the president considered the fact that um, this will create a lot of anxiety and fear in the neighboring uh, farming community if, 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 it could, if something like this could happen to him, uh, more and more people will feel vulnerable. Um, so there was also just uh, you know, caution in terms of you know, uh, what you know, this, the, the panic and the kind of anxiety a matter like this will cause. But it was not in any way, shape or form, uh, an attempt to hide any form of paper trail. Um, that's why the, 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 the statement is quite clear and categorical that there is no basis for the claims of criminal conduct that have been made against yes. uh, the president in Mr. Fraser's statement. And that statement is not being uh, 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 made very lightly. And that statement is not for the sake of spin. It is, yes. it is, it is true. So, so, so I will push back against that assertion, John. So, so Mr. McQuenya, let me let me follow up on what you've just said and 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 try to understand the president's logic here. If I was the president's neighbour, I would absolutely want to know about crime uh, in uh, uh, in the area where I live, either because I want to understand the mur modus operandi and look out for someone operating in the same way. And and again, I put it to you. I mean, we are regularly being told that we need to talk about, um, uh, talk about the role of, of, of communities working together in crime. Why would the president choose to not inform neighbors uh, of, potent, of a threat that might actually be a threat to them? John, we, you know, um, there, there are many ways of interpreting this issue. Um, I honestly, I'm not in a position to debate various subjective views um, on, on, or, or interpretation. Uh, really, for now, I, I'll, I will beg your indulgence and say, let, let's see what comes out of this investigation as a result of uh, Mr. Fraser's charge. Um, for, for, for the president, it's also interesting to note that um, Mr. Fraser was part of the security cluster. He had access to the president. Uh, he still will have access after he's left public yes. service to the president. Um, it is very unclear as to why he will um, go to, go public and and press charges. But but, but with respect, Mr. McGuinness, 
the, the issue of Arthur Fraser will be dealt with at a different time. The source of the allegations uh, arguably are neither here nor there. What's at issue is the credibility of the president's response. Um, not really. The, the source of the allegation is not neither here nor there, John. That's, that, that may be your interpretation. Yes. Uh, but, but, but others can, may very well question the timing. They may very well question the credibility of the source of, of the allegations and the motives. Um, so I, I don't think we can dismiss it and say it's neither here nor there. It is very much part and parcel of, of the issues more broadly. News. Experts. Analysis. Where things stand. What you need to know. Drive home with John Pullman. On 702.